Welcome to City English. I'm Cherry. City, C-I-T-Y, stands for Can I Teach You? Can I Teach You has two meanings. One meaning is permission. May I teach you? Is it okay with you? The other meaning is ability. Can I teach you? Do I have the skills? Welcome to City English. Your P and your F. What's the difference between your P and your F? My position of lips. Mm, and your teeth. So remember, P is just lips and air. F is teeth, lower lip, air. <laughs> Please repeat after me. Pond, fond. Pond, fond. Ah, so your vowel is slightly British. Pride, fried. Pride, fried. Packed. Port, fort. Port, fort. France, France. France, France. Copy, coffee. Copy, coffee. Puppy, puffy. Puppy, puffy. Supper, suffer. Supper, suffer. Shift, shift. Shift, shift. Depend, defend. Depend, defend. Gulp, gulf. Garf, garf. Sheep, sheaf. Tip, tiff. Tip, tiff. Snip, sniff. Snip, sniff. Whip, whiff. Whip, whip. Okay. What is the meaning of sniff? Mm -hmm. What is sniff? I don't know. Okay. So sniff is a verb and it means to smell. So when someone has a cold, we often say they have the sniffles because they all the time. Sniff. Sniff. Mm -hmm. Whiff. What is whiff? Whiff. Mm -hmm. Sound. Oh, go. Whiff. Oh, that's woof. Ah, woof. Yeah. Whiff is a noun that means a smell. Um. So I sniffed the air and I got a whiff of perfume. Phil made a pact to meet his friend in France. Phil made a pact to meet his friend in France. What is pact? Made a pact. Mm -hmm. Pact. Custom. Ah, uh, pact is agreement. Agreement. Mm -hmm. Agreement. I promised to join my friend for coffee after supper. I promised to join my friend for coffee after supper. Look at that farmer feeding his sheep. Look at the farmer feeding his sheep. I'm fond of tossing food to ducks at the pond. I'm fond of tossing food to ducks at the pond. Depend on your lawyer to defend your case and provide good advice. Depend on your lawyer to defend your case and provide good advice. Okay. On page 69, we have a new dialogue. So please take a moment and read the dialogue out loud to yourself. It must be hard for you to leave your family and move to Korea. Actually, it was quite thrilling. Really? I do miss my family, of course, and I have to do without some of my favorite things. But I'm quite happy in Korea. I'm glad to hear that. I'm thinking of studying abroad next year. It's a little frightening. I think it will be a wonderful experience for you. You will learn so much. I still haven't figured out where I want to go yet. Plus, I have to work on my English more. When are you planning on going? I need to come up with some money first, so I might have to work for a year before I go. I have an idea. Neither my aunt nor I can do all the work here. Would you like to work with us? Really? Are you serious? I'd love to. Okay, so first question is, what's the meaning of actually? Actually, fact, in fact. Mm. Actually means honestly or in fact, but usually when native speakers use it, they use it as a way of saying, no, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. So you say, oh, oh, Cherry, you sound like you are British. 
actually, I'm American. So actually is often a way of saying, no, you're wrong, actually. You told me. Yes, in level three. I tell students all the time, and they never remember. <laughs> Next question is, what's the meaning of quite? Albeit. Ah, where did you learn that? Albeit? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, like literally? Yeah, where did you learn that? I don't know. So <laughs> that would explain your accent. In the UK, quite means a bit. In America, quite means very. So they have very different meanings. In America, if I say it's quite expensive, it's really expensive. In England, if I say it's quite expensive, it's a little expensive. So they have totally different meanings. But you usually will not hear an American say quite. Americans don't use quite very often. So if you hear quite, it's probably a British person. And you're right, it means a bit. I have three phrases. Figure out, find out, find. What's the difference between these three phrases? Find is um, something piece pretty. Yep. And find out and figure out is like information? Correct. So find out is information. Find is physical thing. Figure out. What is figure out? To solve and understand. So, ah. What is the meaning of find? In Korean? In general. In general. Find? Mm -hmm. Find something, see something, look something. Find means to discover, capture find. something. So look for is to search. I was looking for the shop. I found it on neighbor maps. I found out it closes at 7 p.m. I figured out how to get there. So look for, search, find physical thing, find out information, figure out, solve. The next thing Yenwi says is, I need to come up with some money. What's the meaning of come up with? Save. In this case, come up with could mean save, but generally come up with means to create. Come up with a story, come up with some money, um, come up with a plan. So I need to create money in my life. Come up with mm -hmm. use I can use with money. So come up with some money means I can get a job, I can ask my parents, I can go into my bank account. So come up with doesn't have a specific way of obtaining the money. I need to come up with fifty dollars. So I got a part time job. I need to come up with fifty dollars. So I went to the bank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Create money sounds like 
make money like could be uh, yeah so if you make it it's creating it if you get it from your parents it's creating it so all of them are possible From this dialogue, do you have any other questions? Any other words that you don't know? Okay, I have one more question that I don't usually ask, but we have time. Uh, should I take it? I'm gonna take a picture. Okay. <sighs> my phone is filled with pictures of my board. <laughs> I don't know why. Cheese. Okay. I think I taught you this in level three, but I cannot remember, so I'll ask you again. I have a plan. I, uh, I have plans. I plan to, I plan on. So I have a plan to eat chicken. I have plans to eat chicken. I plan to eat chicken. I plan on eating chicken. What's the difference? The first one might be a sudden special thought. Okay. And the others might be dinner. Correct. I have a plan is not real. I have a plan is a thought. So I have a plan to eat chicken. Depends on if I finish class early. If I finish class early, I'll have chicken. Maybe not. I don't know. These are real. So I have plans to eat chicken. This usually suggests with other people. So oftentimes I have plans if I hear I have plans to eat chicken, it usually makes me think someone else is involved. I plan to eat chicken, I plan on eating chicken, same. So these are real, and this one is a thought. Elegant, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. We're gonna do uh, the first drill in our second hour. So we're going to turn to page 72, 72. 72. Seventy. Seventy-two. Seventy. Seventy-two. Yeah, seventy-two, yeah. Okay. When I have a modal verb, so my modal verbs are should, could, would, might, may. How do I make a modal verb past tense? So I have the modal verb must, and I want to make it past tense. How do I make it past tense? Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah. Must. When I want to make a modal verb into past tense, I add have plus past participle. So I should have eaten dinner. I could have gone to Busan. I would have called you. You must have been busy. They might have forgotten. 
So we add have plus PP to make a modal verb into past tense. What's the meaning of must? Obligation. Obligation or My thought. Strong, yes. strong, opinion. Yes. strong opinion. So when we have must have plus past participle, this means strong opinion about the past. So we're going to do a couple from the book. And then we're going to make, oh, I did it backwards. Okay, so if must have past participle is strong opinion, what is weak opinion? Might. Might. So might have past participle. Okay. Um, so, my student was absent this morning. She didn't send me a message on Kakao. She didn't call me. Where was my student? She might have been at home. She might have been at home. She might have been at home. What is another way to say this sentence? Same sentence, different way. She might have been sick. Mm, same sentence. Same sentence. same sentence. same sentence, different way. Probably. I mean, maybe. Maybe what? She was at home. Right. So, she might have been at home is the same as Maybe she was at home. These two are the same. Elegant, do you have any questions? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. I, I have a question. Yes. Uh, even. Uh, although I know mm -hmm. may and might are similar meaning, I I think might is the past form of may. I've often heard Korean students say that, <laughs> and I think probably grammatically the rule is that it's the past tense form, but in real American English, it's not. So she might have been at home, past tense. She may have been at home, past tense. They're the same. Mm -hmm. oh, you mean may have, PP can be used? Yep. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oftentimes we would use um, may when we're being more polite, more formal. So um, she may have been at home. I don't know. She might have been at home. I don't know. Formal to semi-formal. I'm going to ask you the question. So I'm going to ask you, did Simon offer his seat to the elderly lady? And you're going to tell me, I'm not sure. He might have offered it to her. He might have offered it to her. What is it? His seat. His seat. So we're going to try to use your pronoun. Did Mr. Conroy tell a joke to his boss? I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm sure. He, he might be told one of what to say. Might be told one. He might have told him oh, one. one. He might have told one to him. Okay. He might have told him one more natural. Okay. So then, did Mrs. Rivers make the children sandwiches? I'm not sure. She might have made. 
made them sandwiches. I made made them for what's your pronoun? Sandwiches. Sandwiches is your noun. What's your pronoun? Them. Sandwiches. Sandwiches, general unknown. No. Once. Some. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not sure she might have made some for them. I'm not sure she might have made them some. Both are okay. okay. Elegant. Did Philip yeah. buy a present for his mother? Uh, I'm not sure. He might 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 bought one for her. He might have bought one for her. Natural English. My he book. might have bought her one. Uh, so again, did Mrs. Hall pay fifty dollars to the plumber? I'm not sure. He might have paid him one. Hmm. Fifty dollars. Paid it to him. Yeah. I'm not sure she might have paid it to him. Elegant, did Adam write a postcard to Charlie? I'm not sure. He might have written one to him. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure he might have written one to him. I'm not sure he might have written him one. Written him one. Written him one. Uh, so, Hen, did I have coffee this morning? Sure, you might have eaten. I drink from. I had. You might have had one. Coffee. Coffee. Mm hmm. Some. Yes. Oh. I'm not sure. You might have had some. Okay. Um. Um. Let's see. So, Han, did I buy? those cats this year i'm not sure you might have bought them this year mm -hmm. okay. um elegant yeah. did i teach level six last year a one more time did did i teach level six last year uh I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. You might uh, you might told told it done told it yes. Huh? I'm not sure you might have taught it. Okay. Taught it yeah. So not sure you might taught it. What is my American pronunciation of might have? What is my American pronunciation? My, <laughs> my, <laughs> my American pronunciation is Maida. Maida? When you talk to an American and you hear shoulda, coulda, woulda, mighta, musta, oughta, it usually means we're not pronouncing a V sound. So you might have bought him, you might have seen it, you might have gotten it, he might have been there, might have. Mm -hmm. Might have. So now that we've talked about might have, which is my weak opinion, we're going to talk about must have. I'm going to tell you a story. You're going to give you you're going to give your strong opinion based on my story. Yesterday was Pepero Day, and I got my boyfriend four boxes of Pepero. He got me nothing. You, you must have been angry. You must have been angry. What else? Uh, 
you might have been upset. Right. <laughs> so you must have been angry. Tell me about him. Uh, he must have uh, must have felt sorry. Ah, he must have felt bad. Why didn't he give me pepperon? Uh, he must have forgotten. He must have forgotten. No, he doesn't exist. <laughs> okay. Two months ago, I won a prize. I entered a contest and they gave me 500,000 won. Uh, you must have been excited. You must have been excited. You must have bought a lot of chocolate. <laughs> you must have bought a lot of chocolate. Correct. Okay. Um, Let's see.